Unlocking the Power of Hormones, How to Take Control of Your Health and Well-Being by Professor Nigel McLennan. What are the top 10 hormones in your body that have the greatest impact on your health and well-being? How are they produced and what do they do? What can you do to help your healthy hormones and minimise the damage of the harmful hormones? Hormones are the chemical communicators in our bodies. They regulate many biochemical and physiological processes. They influence almost every aspect of our health and well-being. Here are the top 10. Insulin. Insulin is a hormone produced in the pancreas. Insulin's main function is to regulate blood sugar levels. It enables glucose to enter cells, thus giving them energy. When insulin levels are elevated over prolonged periods, mostly caused by eating too much, the cells of the body can become insulin resistant. That is known as type 2 diabetes mellitus. In diabetes, where blood sugar levels become dangerously high, all sorts of health problems follow. Specifically, the chain of operation for insulin is that upon eating, our blood sugar levels rise. The pancreas responds by releasing insulin into our blood. Insulin, via specific cell receptors, enables the cells of our body to absorb the glucose in our blood. If we eat too much and have elevated glucose in our blood, insulin enables glucose energy storage in our liver and muscles for later use. When we go hungry for several hours, our blood sugar and insulin levels drop and the body goes into fat burning mode. Intermittent fasting causes insulin levels to fall and the body starts burning fat. Intermittent fasting is known to reduce our chances of developing cancer. In parts of the world where intermittent fasting is widespread, cancer rates are substantially lower. Cortisol is a hormone produced by our adrenal glands, which are located on top of our kidneys. Cortisol is known as the stress hormone because of what it does when we are in a stressful situation. Under stress, cortisol is released and binds to the cells of our body via the bloodstream. That then increases our blood pressure, sugar levels and heart rate, all to better equip us to deal with threats. Once the threat or perceived threat has passed, cortisol levels return to normal. Its other functions include regulating our metabolism, appetite, weight and immune system. In order to focus energy on addressing the perceived immediate threat, stress-induced cortisol overproduction suppresses the immune system. At the other end of the scale, too little cortisol and the immune system can become overactive, leading to allergies, autoimmune and chronic inflammatory diseases. It seems that to stay healthy, we need a little stress and excitement, but not too much. It could be that the reason for the rise in the numbers of cases of autoimmune diseases is that many of us are too protected from risk and threat to the point that we do not have healthy levels of cortisol. Thyroid hormones T3 and T4 are produced by the thyroid gland located in the neck. They regulate or influence many bodily functions, including digestion and bowel movements, metabolism, the rate at which the body consumes energy, body temperature, heart rate and strength, growth and development. Thyroid hormones are particularly important until we are fully grown. They are essential for bone and brain growth. As with most hormones, thyroid works by binding to cells throughout the body causing their intended alteration in cell behaviour. Specifically, the small-sized pituitary gland situated at the base of the brain is triggered to produce thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH. TSH stimulates the thyroid gland to produce T3 and T4, which then sets in train the processes mentioned above. Both over- and under-production of thyroid hormones can cause serious problems. Hyperthyroidism, too much thyroid hormone, can lead to weight loss, rapid heartbeat and anxiety. 
hypothyroidism to little thyroid hormone can result in fatigue, weight gain and cold intolerance. The levels of cortisol seem to have an impact on thyroid production and release. It seems that having an optimum level of stress is beneficial for thyroid production too. Growth hormone, as with cortisol, is produced in the pituitary gland. It plays a central role in our growth, development, metabolism, fat burning, sleep quality and bone density. Growth hormone is released into the bloodstream by the pituitary gland, which is under the control of the hypothalamus. As with almost all hormones, growth hormone binds to the cells and triggers the desired change in cell behaviour. As we age, the level of growth hormone in our bodies decreases. We can improve our levels of growth hormone by vigorous exercise, avoiding excessive stress, which suppresses the production of growth hormone, getting sufficient good quality sleep and eating a healthy, balanced diet. Alcohol directly inhibits the release of growth hormone from the pituitary gland and seems to do the maximum damage if consumed just before sleep. Leptin is a hormone produced by fat cells in proportion to the amount of fat in the body. Leptin, through the bloodstream, signals the hypothalamus in the brain to regulate our appetite and energy expenditure. Prolonged high levels of leptin can lead to leptin resistance. Once established, leptin resistance renders the brain less responsive to the leptin signals. That, in turn, prevents the communication which suppresses appetite. With appetite suppression going away, people tend to eat more. Leptin resistance also seems to reduce the body's efficiency in burning calories. With reduced appetite suppression and energy expenditure, weight gain is almost inevitable. That weight gain produces more fat, which produces more leptin, which and on goes the leptin largening loop. Keeping our body fat levels at the lowest safe level is wise. As a general guide, around 12 to 15 percent total body fat is a healthy range for men and 25 to 30 percent for women. Melatonin is a hormone produced by our pineal gland, which is located in the center of our brain near the thalamus. Melatonin's main function seems to be regulating the body's sleep-wake cycle, a.k.a. the circadian rhythm. As daylight fades, our pineal gland releases melatonin. That makes us drowsy and prepares our bodies for sleep. In parts of the world where, during summer, there are few hours of darkness, some people find their sleep cycle disrupted and fit blackout curtains in their bedroom to ensure they get enough sleep. As a general rule, being in a subdued lighting environment in the lead-up to planned sleep helps us get better quality of sleep by way of increasing the production of melatonin. Long-distance aviation travel can cause jet lag, which leaves our circadian rhythm out of sync with the new location's daylight hours. Some people find taking melatonin supplements helpful in that situation. Ghrelin is a hormone produced by the stomach and is also known as the hunger hormone. It stimulates appetite and facilitates energy intake. See the PsychReg article on ghrelin by clicking here. Testosterone is the hormone produced mostly in the testicles of men and in much smaller amounts in the ovaries in women. Testosterone is essential for male reproductive development and function, including libido and the production of sperm. It also plays a central role in the development of male sex characteristics, increased muscle mass, bone density, deep voice, facial and bodily hair. Testosterone levels are also known to impact our mood and emotional well-being. Low testosterone levels have been widely reported to cause symptoms such as fatigue and depression. Here is an overview of the workings of testosterone. The pituitary gland, via the hypothalamus, signals the testes to release testosterone into the blood. 
the testosterone is picked up by the cell receptors throughout the body and triggers cellular behavior change. If testosterone levels are too high, the pituitary gland amends the instruction to create lower levels. Testosterone levels tend to be at their highest during adolescence and early adulthood. Then they gradually decline with age. Low testosterone levels, hypogonadism, can be treated with testosterone replacement therapy, usually only if the adverse effects justify the treatment. Most men accept that age-induced reductions in testosterone levels are a normal and natural part of being human. Oestrogen is a female hormone that plays a crucial role in female development, reproduction and overall health. It influences bone density, mood and metabolism. The adrenal glands and fat tissue also produce a small amount of oestrogen, which the ovaries produce in much larger amounts. One reason why obese men can develop breasts is because of the oestrogen that their fat cells produce. Oestrogen drives the development of female sex characteristics, breasts, wider hips and the menstrual cycle. Oestrogen regulates the menstrual cycle by stimulating the growth of the uterine lining, the endometrium, to prepare for a possible pregnancy. Oestrogen levels are also known to impact our mood and emotional well-being. Fluctuations in oestrogen levels associated with the menstrual cycle can create severe mood swings. Here is an overview of the workings of oestrogen. The pituitary gland, via the hypothalamus, signals the ovaries to release oestrogen into the blood. The oestrogen is picked up by the cell receptors throughout the body and triggers the desired cellular behaviour change. If oestrogen levels are too high, the pituitary gland amends its instruction to create lower levels. Oestrogen levels are at their highest during puberty and slowly decline with age, especially during the menopause. Oestrogen levels fluctuate depending on the stage in the menstrual cycle. If oestrogen levels are out of balance, it can lead to irregular menstrual cycles, infertility and hot flushes. As oestrogen levels drop with age, hormone replacement therapy can help many women. It is not known why some women experience postmenopausal hot flushes while others do not. Progesterone is also a female sex hormone. Progesterone plays a central role in the reproductive system, the menstrual cycle and pregnancy and influences mood and sleep. It is primarily produced by the ovaries and during pregnancy. The placenta also produces progesterone. Progesterone helps create the uterine lining, the endometrium, which is necessary for a possible pregnancy. If fertilization occurs, progesterone levels remain high to thicken the uterine lining to enable the implantation and development of the embryo and placenta. With no fertilization, progesterone levels decline to normal levels, causing the uterine lining to be released. That is known as a menstrual period. Progesterone is heavily involved in the development and growth of breasts, preparing them for breastfeeding. Progesterone can also influence mood and emotional well-being. Variations in progesterone levels during the menstrual cycle can contribute to mood swings and premenstrual syndrome, PMS. Quite how hormones such as testosterone and oestrogen and progesterone cause such emotional mood changes is not fully understood, and for good reasons. We have, at best, limited understanding of how emotions function. Imbalances in levels of progesterone can cause irregular menstrual cycles, infertility and even miscarriages. Helping your hormone health. Probably the most effective thing we can do to help our hormone health is to adopt and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Here are the most effective methods we know of. Choosing a healthy diet with lots of fruit, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats gives our body the raw ingredients necessary to be healthy. 
Taking regular exercise can improve our insulin sensitivity, reduce stress and trigger the release of several beneficial hormones. Getting quality sleep maintains healthy hormone levels, particularly cortisol and melatonin. Having enough stress to stimulate our bodies and minds is healthy. Too much stress is unhealthy. Avoiding toxins that are known to damage our bodies and hormones is wise if we want to protect our hormone health. Here are just a few toxins to avoid. Smoking, alcohol, caffeine, microplastics, food additives, pesticides, some cleaning products, air pollution and water pollution. Now that you have an overview of the top 10 hormones and their functions, what steps will you take today to help your hormone health?